Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So today I have a very exciting video filming this because I recently just purchased and received the brand new Spanglish collection from Alamar Cosmetics. I hope I'm saying that right because you know your homegirl is hella gringo over here. So um, I recently purchased this palette because the aesthetic on this is so so beautiful with the lavender and the oranges and the pressed glitters. I just knew it was something that I was going to genuinely like aesthetically. To see like my thoughts on this um, palette and eyeshadow and the primer, then please just keep watching. <music> you guys saw in the intro, I have the brand new Spanglish collection from Alamar Cosmetics. I am so excited to be reviewing this because I have never purchased anything from Alamar Cosmetics. I have always had my eye on this brand for a really long time, but unfortunately it was just a lot of bad timing when they were launching products and I could just never um, purchase it myself. Um, so I have heard so many things, watched so many videos on this brand about the bronzers, the blushes, the brushes, they have the glosses, lip liners, and I have just heard nothing but great things about this brand. This brand is, it's Miami based, but there is Gabby and I do follow Gabby on Instagram. I will have everything listed down below in the description box. If you don't know about this brand, if you want to know a little bit more about the owner, if you want to know about like the back history things like that I totally recommend you checking out Gabby and the Alamar Cosmetics um, IG um, I really love Gabby I've recently started following her I think I rediscovered her during quarantine I remember watching her stuff um, a few few years back but um, I was really able like to sit down and start following new people and just kind of get like re-inspired for makeup and makeup brands because you know I am kind of sick and tired of seeing like the repetitive brands being talked about all the time. I am getting a little bit more into smaller brands, smaller companies. I just like to show out and show support to me and Alamar are based in Florida, which fellow Floridian, how about that? And also she is um, a Pisces, which I didn't know. And she also has red hair. So hello, Pisces and red hair. How you doing? So um, when I discovered Gabby, I just really fell in love with her energy, her confidence, her light. Um, it really put me in such a positive, calming mood. It really, um, I watched one of her video, her IGTVs, and I believe it was the one saying like how I almost sold my makeup brand or it was something along the lines. And it was just such an inspiring video. And I definitely recommend that you check that out. If you are wanting to be, you know, an owner of a company or an influencer, or if you want to go like on your own path from, you know, what your family wants you to do, I definitely recommend checking that video out because it's super inspiring to me um it's something that i watch actually repetitively when i am in a rut or when i get like high anxiety and stuff which has been happening a lot lately that's why i haven't been posting a lot of videos everything is still available again i will have everything listed down below but they will be doing a huge restock of everything um i believe early september mid-september but definitely check them out if you've had like your eye like i have on like the bronzers girl and like the blushes because you know I'm beginning into blushes. I don't know what it is, but I just, I want all kinds of blushes. But what the packaging looks like, it's super cute. It's like a lilac with these um, super beautiful heart-shaped earrings with Spanglish in the middle. So what the packaging looks like, it's like a, you know what? It kind of reminds me of like those um, like fairy tale type of books, like those big leather bound books like this actually like what it reminds me of is not they're not just like fairy tale but they have like Dracula and Edgar Allan Poe like those like decorative types of, of books I don't know why that reminds me of this but it does so this is what the Spanglish palette looks like and I'm so freaking excited so these are the colors on the inside and I really love that you get actually a different variety of color in here instead of like your basic neutral warm colors it's vibrant it's beautiful it's aesthetically pleasing you have some pressed pigments in here you have mattes in here um so i am 
really really excited like to play with this um so we have the palette and then we also have the primer um now i suck at pronouncing spanish anything anything that has to do with like a spanish name i like totally stuck doing that so i sorry if i butcher it like really bad but um so the end she ended up coming out with a primer so when i first saw this i actually really i thought that it was um the well the vibe of it gives me like huge p louis oh my god i can't get it out get out bitch what the fuck louise base um but what i actually thought this was because in the promotional video there was actually like a few of them displayed i thought they were different color primer bases like p louise has and i thought that they were like purple for some reason like vibrant like different shades of purple um but it's just an eyeshadow primer which you know there's nothing wrong with that but it does give me like hella p louise vibes and this is a water based um eyeshadow primer it's technically like glue for like the eyelids from what i have done like my research on i have not seen gabby do like a tutorial on this uh, uh on this on this collection yet so um i'm just kind of going off like my vibe like my first impressions so yeah so it came with well the set came with the um primer and then we also got some brushes which love brushes i am a brush whore especially with this middle crease shade you guys don't understand my love for this type of crease brush in a gold like type barrel i guess you could say so you have a packer lid one and then you have this super cute um it kind of reminds me of my it kind of reminds me of my morphe m562 brush they're very similar they're like detailed crease brushes um but this one seems to be a little bit more fluffier the alamar one and then you have like this blender brush from what i saw on the website i believe that's right just to like blend out the edges so um, that is what comes in this collection. We have high expectations for this brand, so hopefully I don't get disappointed. It's gonna be like 100 with you guys because you know if something doesn't work for me. I'm just gonna sit there and say it don't work. I um, would use the base, the skin tone color, very very sticky. Now if I'm not mistaken, Gabby said to like kind of let it get tacky on the eyes, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to grab my Sephora brush. And I'm going to pick up that tacky base and we're just going to go ahead and lay this down. Girl. Mm -mm. Lay her down on the eye. It does dry pretty fast. So I would be, I wouldn't use a whole lot of product on the back of your hand or a lot on the eye because it does dry very fast. It's very like sticky, which is, I mean, it's supposed to be like glue. So I think I'm going to take this like light, I don't know if you guys can see with the reflection, this like light baby pink called Eke Q, you know, um, so, <laughs> I'm so stupid. Um, there is actually a pretty big ass mirror right here. So that's nice. Oh, Ooh, okay oh okay okay get it all right when i let you go ooh, 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 wow that's super super pretty i'm like really impressed right now i was honestly not in like expecting this to be so pigmented and easy to blend. Girl. Mm-hmm. Extremely shocked. Like, like oh, you know, props to y'all at Alomar and Gabby because I've never had like an eyeshadow go on so effortlessly blends out i have no fallout now it could be too because of the base the base oh 
like I probably won't even use like my P. Louise one anymore. Like I, I'm, I'm dead serious. Um, or concealer. So you know that shit's good. Go ahead and take this uh, blending brush. I don't think there's like a name on this. Yeah, detail uh, diffuser brush, but I'm gonna use it right in the crease. Um, and I'm, we're gonna take like this fuchsia. I don't know if you guys can like see this like fuchsia um pinky purple color. It's a little um kick up in the palette but honestly y'all i i don't care like don't my god it began in the land of the sandstorm i fought it though i wanted this like reflective blue purple goddess in the palette and I will have I think like the names right here or in the uh, description box as well I want to see like how well this performs without like a fix plus just I'm getting a little fallout with this pressed pigment nothing wrong with that i probably honestly could have gone in with the base again on top of the two eyeshadows and it probably wouldn't have been had a little bit of fallout but just just to save myself i'm just going to go ahead and just put a little bit of powder underneath the eyes can like see oh my god ever had a pressed pigment vegan formula be so intense be so vibrant without any fix plus and stick pretty well on the eyelid with no extra base no nothing y'all like i Yes, I did have to put a little bit of powder underneath my eyes, but girl, it is sticking. Like the glitter is sticking. I need Gabby to do more of this formula in different colors. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Okay, what I'm going to do is I think I want to add like a darker purple on the outer V. This palette does not have a darker purple, which I kind of wish it had like a darker color in this palette just to like darken up or sharpen the outer V. Um, but overall, this palette so far with eight shadows in this palette, four being matte, four being pressed pigments, French Kiss, beautiful. This is perfection. I was not really expecting this palette to be so fantastic, easy to work with, pigmented, like I am truly like just mind blown. So I'm going to go ahead and find a purple, put that on the outer V. I do quickly want to talk about the brushes. Now I have not used this one yet, but I do really like the brushes. However, I feel like they're a little too lightweight for me. Now I know not everybody has this problem, but unfortunately I have this problem. It is really hard for me to grip onto things that are kind of lightweight. I have to have like some type of weight to things or things tend to fall off because um, I kept finding myself trying to like trying to grip it and moving the brush back up and down, which is a, a struggle for me. But other than that, I mean, the, the brushes are, I mean, they're amazing. I mean, th these two worked. These are going to be like my go-to brushes. Now I'm really curious on purchasing her other brushes when she does a full restock because I'll probably purchase a lot um, from Alamar when she does the restock, like I said. Um, but other than that, I do wish that these were a little heavier, but but it's not, the, it's not something to like huff and puff about. I know not everybody has the same problem as I do with my arm, with having like titanium and stuff in my arm. But um, yeah, so I wanted to quickly mention that because I didn't really talk too much about the brushes while I was applying the eyeshadow because your girl was distracted by the pigmentation. So um, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and add like a darker purple on the outer V and I will be right back. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back.
this brush because I didn't get a chance. This is a crease control brush. Now I don't really know exactly how to use this. I know it says for your crease, but I think I'm going to probably use it for the outer edge of my eye. But I think what I'm going to do is take up like this orange and see if that might do anything. I might regret this. I don't know yet. Well, she is not my favorite. So that crease brush, I'm at, probably that crease control brush, I'm probably gonna have to play with or see how Gabby uses it whenever she posts, posts her like makeup tutorial using this palette. Um, I, I, I don't really know how I feel about it. I probably would use it more for like a brow bone highlight or like an inner corner highlight. Like I don't really know if I would really use this for my crease. Um, but again, I would have to really like, I'm going to have to play with this to like really, um, know how this works. But out of everything, this probably isn't my favorite, but that's one thing out of like the whole collection. So, um, this one right here, which is like this lavender silver, like pressed pigment. It's super pretty on the inner corner and it is super, super intense. And it's really pretty as an inner corner highlighter. I have glitter everywhere on my face. The cute, uh, the light pink and the fuchsia pink um, on the lower part of my eye. Pretty much everything I did in the crease. But that is it for this review on the Spanglish Collection by Elmar Cosmetics. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you want to see more videos like this or other videos, please let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone. Oh, it's a long